Hey guys, welcome back. This is the back 10 of the Dynamic This Doubles 2018 U.S. Women's Championship. We got Tina Oakley and Paige Pierce. And as you saw, hopefully on the front half, uh, things were getting a little tight as the uh, team of Kristen and Katka and Zoe and Hokum both got the twos on hole 10 and we did not. So scores are pretty tight. So check out what happens here on the back half. Starting off on hole 11. This is the only par 4 if I'm not mistaken. Which is debatably a par 5. This hole is very difficult for someone without distance. <laughs> As you can see, Katka and Kristen took completely different lines, and this is not just because one's lefty and one's righty. There are two completely different routes to this hole. And lots of different shots. Yeah. <laughs> power up. Trying to get a power up. Yeah, one's the wide right uh, stalling hyzer on the right side, and one is just uh, either a turnover or a sidearm slash lefty hyzer into the center of the yeah, gap. Yeah. Both of which are supposed to finish at the same spot, but, uh, you know, depending on what your forte is, it might be easier. Roller! <laughs> Zoe actually asked me if she could borrow a thief because she forgot to pack her roller disc, so she improvised with a um, bead and trespass there. Safe shot. <laughs> yeah, Tina goes captain, just perfect spot in the middle so that I can try out Kristen's route. This is not something I practiced, so I kind of was kicking myself for trying something new in a competition setting. So we are definitely taking Tina's shot. <laughs> Smash! And I throw my bio defender. This shot was crazy. It's way up there. I just threw it as hard as I could. We were in perfect position, just a little bit short, so I knew if I threw it as hard as I could, I'd still be short, so I just ripped it. I think I remember saying, do I even have to throw? Because <laughs> we all know that's just amazing. <laughs> Katka goes first and doesn't quite turn it enough, so they're going to be pinched off on the right side. There's a bunch of shul over there. I don't think she quite got into it, but it's still over on the right side. Oh. Yeah, and this is a Sorry. very, very <laughs> rare miss for Kristen. She just, uh, she throws with a lot of hyzer flips, so when it comes out early, it's already on a hyzer, so she missed quite a bit left. Yeah, it got up there, but it's on the right side. I think yeah, they were hoping yeah. that Hokum would uh, be able to back that up, and she absolutely did. That's way up there. Oh, they are kind of stuff. Woo! I remember them looking at both of their shots, wondering which one was better. I think they went with a good choice here, as Katka could easily get up and down. And still... Backwards, backhand, yeah, that long in the basket. Absolutely wow. <laughs> amazing shot. That, I don't know how often you guys practice that, but the patent pending is so hard to, hard to generate power and like Tina said, she went past the basket. Amazing shot. Come on, Ruby. You're working Lay up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a little tailwind, so it's dropping them. Oh, uh, I remember that. Te Whoa, that looked like it was yeah, in I fast motion. Yeah, I thought I gave mine a bunch and it Whoa. just not. That tailwind said no, so I tried to overcorrect. And oh, I got it high oh, enough. Oh, I was so excited. Oh, I love when you see it going. Yeah. <laughs> and I told Tina, one of us is making this. Let's go. <laughs> Dang, look at those matching outfits. That's pretty good. When you only have two items of clothing on, it's quite a bit easier to match. <laughs> I really wanted to high five you for that. I'm <laughs> so impressed. <laughs> oh, three on this hole is crazy. Yeah. I think I took a five on it during both the rounds that we played yeah. it. And I was like, totally fine with that. The short <laughs> tee and the far. long tee are one and the same, so it's always this hard and uh, <laughs> definitely the hole that causes the most trouble. I was still so <laughs> <laughs> Well.
I shanked my drive. Tina threw a great one. Threw a pretty good second shot and then hit about a 75 foot or so. Pretty good. Who do you putt with? A deputy, of course. They keep gliding forever. Good job. Thanks. So with the birdie three there, we extend our lead to two shots. Double digits under par. This one is 241 feet tucked on the left. There's all those trees that you can see right there blocking it. So a lot of us go wide hyzer around the trees. Which wasn't even a shot I considered. <laughs> I saw people throwing it, but I like yeah. didn't really know why because it just looked like an up the gut shot to me. But after seeing it a few times, I get it. <laughs> well, also, I think that's part of disc golf too, is just like when you get to that hole, whatever hole it is, just making up your own decision. Yeah, I you think, have to throw your best shot. Yeah, that's my favorite part of the game is the creativity off the tee. Totally. Ooh! If that's not inside the circle, it's right, right there. That was a great shot. I was genuinely impressed by this shot, and it was Ooh, not because okay. of Sarah Hokum throwing a backhand. You know, a lot of people say, good backhand, but the angle, the width, everything, the trajectory was so good, and, and uh, yeah, <laughs> she's absolutely been working on it, and you can tell it's it's coming out so clean. Yes, that was a huge putt for her. Nice, and backing yeah. it up with a good just outside the circle putt, amazing. <laughs> they're stoked, and they're probably pretty sweaty. Those mustaches look pretty hot. It was warm. It got humid, remember? Yeah. Nice putt. Thank you for letting me hit one. I appreciate it. <laughs> Tina with her captain left us just inside the circle, and since she drove that one, I got the putt. That was fun. I love nice watching you putt, though. <laughs> fun. Starfish putting. It's fun. <laughs> so another frame of star birdies. We should keep tabs on how, how many of those we have. Scores stay the same as far as the spread, and we move on to hole 13, which is arguably a par 4. I think it is for sure. Um, that was just OB. where Tina was, yeah, I was going to say, where Tina was hyzering off to, there's an OB patch that you can see later. Um, it's kind of blind from the tee. If you are going to hyzer out, which you want to, you have to be, I would say, about 310. If not, you're OB. Yeah, and I hadn't played any of these holes. This is my warm up round for the actual tournament, so I didn't know what I was getting into. It was barely out of bounds, but still. This hole's really challenging. Um, your tee shot has to be really good and put in the perfect spot, and your up shot also has to be pretty perfect. That one went long into the stuff, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Kat cut through a great shot, so um, Kristen was able to try to get to the basket. So she tried to push that right side and get the disc to finish a little bit farther forward, um, but she pushed it a little too hard to the right. Hokum hitting that early tree. Oh, left some pressure on Zoe, but she just barely missed it. And Silver says she's safe, so they will be looking at a par as well. That looks great. So by the basket, there's some more OB. It's pretty small total. I would say it's about 25 feet, but it definitely comes into play, especially on a shot like Katka's. Um, yeah, it's this tiny crescent moon just right next to the basket. Yeah, if you're hyzering up over to the left side, you're you're definitely challenging that OB line. That's a good shot. Yeah, three on this hole feels good. In the tournament, I got a six. Yep, me too. Yeah. Oh, no, it was a five, but I was right there for a three, <laughs> so I was mad. <laughs> we hyzered a little bit too much into the left side, so we were left with a blind look. Um, Not bad. Yeah, I was just thinking land right of the basket. Yeah, you we don't want any OB. I remember checking for the basket like three times, Yeah, I like, just couldn't tell where I was. Big drive, though. 
Oh, Katka and I think did they took Kristen, OB. yeah, because Katka went OB. Barely. Yeah. Just, spot. It was such a good shot, but it's OB. It just, it really goes to show you how nice. close that OB line is. Zoe and Hokum and Tina and I walking off with a three happily on that one. Um, Kristen and Katka also threw good enough shots to get that three, but unfortunately they are going to be taking the bogey here. And yeah, she's picking up her disc right there. Yeah. <laughs> right behind the basket. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Rube. Ruby was wearing a Yoshi outfit earlier in the day, but I guess she was kind of like nip nipping at it, so they took it off. But with that bogey, we head to a three-shot advantage over them. Mm. You gotta do what you gotta do, Paige. Yeah. We'll make it work. Going into hole 14, 300 feet, dead straight. I don't know if this one is 300 feet. I don't think it is. I, I like really, really disagree with that. I remember right. It's an ace run. Everyone's trying to. Oh, ace it is. Run Look, it. short 207. 207. Long is 300. So, oh, yeah. Okay. 200 feet. Um, we're all kind of trying to take some speed off so that we don't go deep into those bushes because then you're left with an obstructed putt. Right. I went short on it. Let's just like. You don't want to be in the bush, but I don't want to be short on a 207 foot hole either. <laughs> yeah. In the tournament, I don't mind it, though. Yeah. Like, in this round, you definitely want to run an ace, but in the tournament, birdies are good no matter how they come. Oh, yeah. oh, buddy. That looked great. Nice shot. Beautiful release. Heiser flip right at the basket. Kristen with her harp, as always. And, oh, <laughs> gosh, that was close. Super close. And we are all going to be looking at super, super easy tap-ins. And we will be moving on to hole 15, which has quite a bit more action as there's OB on all sides of the basket. Star frame. Star frame. Star frame. <laughs> Thank you. I go with my Eric Oakley felon sidearm. Um, there's OB short right, there's OB pin high left, and there's OB oh, deep team. left. So, yeah. kind of pockets like we had on uh, two holes ago. There's like these little pockets of OB that are just like in the prime spots where you might end up throwing. Oh. But I like the Heiser on this oh, one. Yeah. I don't have a oh, sidearm no. that's really that long or controlled. But... I kept getting short on this whole yeah, team. Holy cow, that was close. <laughs> Katka almost oh. made it from circle two. Wow. Amazing. Let's see if Kristen can capitalize. You can see that wind is picking up quite a bit. Absolutely it is. Yeah. It was a weird day for weather, I would say. A little bit of everything. Zoe into the headwind left it a little too hysery, and the headwind just kept it on that same angle. So she misses left, and Holcomb surprisingly yeah. doesn't even get to the cage into a headwind. Oh, <laughs> I think I thought I made that. <laughs> it looked amazing. I thought you made it as well. There you go, partner, partner. Yeah, I let you put plenty. <laughs> A couple of times. So we will take the solo birdie on this one as well, and the other two have tap in pars. With this birdie, we are now 
up to a four shot lead over Kristen and Katka, but little did we know at this point we had other challengers. Hole 15B, quite arguably the most silly hole I've ever played. How about you? In all of disc golf, because it's not actually a hole of disc golf. It, it is. Literally isn't. Backwards. <laughs> The tee pad actually in the real layout goes the other direction, and that's actually how I practiced it too. When we got to this one on this day, I was uh, confused and surprised. Um, the tee pad luckily is about nine feet long. Um, from the front where Katka is, the shot is non-existent. So the rest of us took the back of the tee pad, as you can see with Kristen here, um, to open up the gap a little bit, and then you could kind of have a shot at the back. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know how many times I've played from the back of a tee pad before. Probably not a whole lot. I, I really haven't even oh. seen that many <laughs> sticks on top of the basket. Keys that long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. I was just waiting for those to fall on something. You have to, right? Someday one of those will just fall right in the basket. Eventually. Pokemon um, <laughs> picking up that easy birdie and still rocking the mustache. I was impressed. It was, I was pretty sweaty at that point. Hole 16, part 3. Um, the biggest gap was on the left side, so I went with my flippy deputy on a hyzer flip, but I let go of it a little bit late. I turned the crap out of my disc. That was not what I was intending to do. <laughs> so neither of us I was loved to go our left shot. Side too. <laughs> neither of us loved our shot, but at 232 feet, we can work something out, I'm sure. That looked good too, it just turned over a little bit too much. But everyone's kind of going for that left side. With a deputy. Who said deputy? It also turns a little bit much, but she stays clean, so she has maybe a circle's edge putt on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Kristen with a great shot, best shot so far, hands down. See how cat cooking. Play. She hides out, so Kristen's gonna, they're definitely gonna take Kristen's lie. Zoe and Sarah are starring up. What is this? What is that logo? Yeah, Star Power, it's right? Star Power yeah, guy, Star Power. Yeah. yeah, Dustin had the one up. Robin had the Star Power. Yes! Oh, yes! Good uh, thing she Star Powered up. Oh, we did it. <laughs> Great putt from Zoe, not surprised. We had this funny little lie back behind this tree. <laughs> I tried. You can't really <laughs> tell, but it's our right foot way, way, way under that branch on the other side, actually. Not even a branch, just a tree. Um, so it kind of left no real... I was so impressed with that after trying it myself. Because you couldn't really draw down. You had yeah. to, like, draw towards yourself. And then, yeah, look at me trying to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was stoked about it. And, and it helps, like, in partner golf, too. You were stoked that I hit it, and I was, I learned from you missing it. You right, know, so. yeah. Oh, wow. Snug that in there. Yeah, Not looked bad. high left, but that basket wanted to keep it. <laughs> we got another star frame here and we move into the lead by five. So you just walked into a disc golf store. Look at all that sweet plastic. So many new discs to try. What if you don't like this new disc? Rest easy. When shopping at any of our buyback retailers, if you are not completely satisfied with a disc from Dynamic Discs, Latitude 64, or Westside Discs, bring it back within 14 days with proof of purchase and we will replace it with whatever disc you want in the store, no matter the brand. It is that simple. Now get out there and play some disc golf. Check out dynamicdisc.com retail to find a buyback retail partner near you. 
Um, this is our second to last hold around and one of the hardest to not bogey, if yeah. that makes sense. Yep. Uh huh. It's uh. You should birdie it. Absolutely. But if you don't birdie it, you're probably bogeying it. <laughs> it's 164 feet. I was so disappointed. I was so mad. <laughs> Didn't even get it over the island, and it's so short. We wait 20 holes to have a mistake, but you know, luckily we had had a lot of birdies up until this point. Zoe okay. plays, it's actually a good play. Go, I wouldn't it. recommend it if you're not playing pool, but the bank shot works out pretty well <laughs> in this hole. Just throwing it into those branches and letting it drop your disc. Uh -oh. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> Sarah leaves it wide and brings it OB, but Zoe's parked, so. And we don't do this often, but this hole actually played as, as like a hazard, so if you missed your tee shot and you were out of bounds, you just played from where it was out of bounds and took a stroke penalty. Usually on island holes like this, you have some sort of drop zone, but I guess they just didn't want, want it to play that way. Yeah. Kaka and Kristen both throw great shots. They can choose which one they want to go for. Oh, oh I really, really thought that was in. <laughs> As Tina said, we are putting for a three, a circle three. Um, I thought I made that one. Yep. You hit a lot of chains. Let's fill up the other side. So we will take a bogey, our first one of the round and on the shortest hey, hole. Oh, we weren't track. stoked about that for sure, but... No. Nope. You know, it is what it is. Hokum's definitely stoked about her birdie. As are Kristen and Katka. Um, this definitely brings it pretty close going into the last hole, but... I think it's uh, safe to say that we knew we had both of these teams be at this point. I look mad. Look how mad I am. <laughs> <laughs> Stomping around. That hole, I think, is kind of silly for it to be so short and guarded like that, but it is what it is. Last hole, high five. Fun, fun, super fun round. Yeah, it's fun hanging out with friends and... Doubles is such a great format. Especially ladies doubles, it never happens. This is our one time of the year, and I really want to shout out to Dynamic Disc for making this event possible, and Terry Miller and Dynamic collectively for bringing the coverage to you guys. Hookham goes with a wide over, over the bushes look, and... <laughs> Zoe goes with the opposite route through the gap. The only way to get to the basket is the way Katka and Hokum have gone um, up high over the left side. So if you're going for the two, that's your play. Yeah, the basket's like very left from that opening out there. Um, you cannot get your disc through that gap and inside the circle. There's literally no way to do it from that direction. I don't care who you are. No, it's just not yeah. possible. Maybe some sort of crazy roller, but you're throwing a layup if you decide to go for that route. So Tina goes with my disc on yeah. this hole, <laughs> actually, calling. um, and we're just putting one in the fairway so that I can go hard on this one and throw my super, super, super flippy bio defender I've had in my bag for two and a half years, and, and uh, it's got some turn on it now. Katka and Kristen going for approach from, I would say, maybe 150 or so. That was a great shot. All this uh, water that you see is casual. It's just aesthetic. Um, it's it's a pretty landing zone, but um, the water is casual. That'd be pretty brutal if it was OB. <laughs> You land like three feet oh, from the basket. You're literally a foot and a half from the basket. Sorry, you're OB. It's really hard to find a place to lay up to, though, because, like, it's slanted and it's rocky, and you just don't know if it's going to knock your disc on an angle and roll. Mm -hmm. We almost got to the road with Paige's drive. It was a couple feet from OB. From yeah, OB. I didn't turn it quite enough. It glided out left. and. Oh, so we were right there. We didn't Good quite guess. have a putt, so we had to throw up shots at it, and, and, uh... I've checked out. 
one putt away hey. from a pretty good score. At least I can still putt. <laughs> you will happily take a par here. It's a yeah. pretty, it's pretty much a bonus birdie, uh, I would say. It's oh. not unbirdieable, but it's, <laughs> it's we'll you're absolutely stoked if you get a birdie here. So all of us will be pretty happy with this car. Keenan and I more so than the other two as this puts us in a good position to finish the round out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So we get in with our score and find out that we're actually tied with the Fraser sisters. Yeah. Yeah, they um, absolutely killed it. I hear they got 15 twos out there. That's nuts. Um, so even though we got that one bogey, we uh, ended up tying them and are going to go into a playoff. Michelle and Rebecca Frazier, and we were lucky enough to have Terry Miller with us following the um, playoff as well. That's windy. Look at all that. This is the day later as the mother, Michelle, or I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, Sandra Frazier left with their bags, so we had to do it the next yeah. day after our round, yeah. and like Tina said, it was quite a bit windier yeah. this day. We decided to start on hole one, um, oh, as we figured oh, that's how a normal playoff would go. Sorry. Um, no, we got it to maybe circle's edge, and uh -huh. Rebecca goes first <laughs> and leaves it a little wide, and then Michelle goes and leaves it a little um, inside. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think most players are going for a three on this hole. Let's go to look at a birdie. I'd say this is another <laughs> one that's like a bonus birdie. I just had like the worst round ever and then had to come play <laughs> a playoff, so. And as you can see there, I didn't even have my putters in my hand. I was fully oh, confident in my partner right hitting right that putt. Right. Yeah, she failed you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> We both missed by quite a bit, left us with like a tester, up, uh, you know, comebacker for a par. Um, but we hit it, and as do they, and we move on to the second hole of the playoff. Instead of hole two, we discussed this prior to the start of this. Um, we were going to jump to hole ten because it was a better loop and challenged us more. Hole two was just a shorty. Um, this is the hole, if you remember from earlier, Ooh. that you can throw a wide hyzer or you can throw a direct shot at it. I go with the same shot I threw earlier, and so does Tina. But better this time. But we both <laughs> executed quite a bit better and in the wind. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Michelle up first. She goes with what I'm assuming was for this direct route but she turned it quite a bit too much. She was actually just trying to put one in bounds so that Rebecca could go wide hyzer, but she did not do so. So Rebecca had to play this a little tighter than she wanted. Still getting up there. Yeah. Left in bounds, with... which is nice. <laughs> what do you think? Just outside the circle? Oh, that's right. Yeah. We got that. Yeah, those trees were just at circle's edge and they're back there a little bit. Looks like kind of a low ceiling too. She just missed it high left. Tina with her whale pants putt up. Hey. Nails it. Nails it. I don't know why she's surprised. I wasn't. It felt really good, but just the way it went in, it was yeah. like, really, this is what's going to win the playoff? <laughs> An almost good, almost bad putt. He was supposed to be live filming us. And he's black. Yeah. Yeah. No. Tina had a rough day and didn't <laughs> feel confident in that putt, but I <laughs> never doubt her for a second on the putting. It's truly amazing to watch. 